Hello viewers, today we will discuss the pharmacodynamics that is how the drug will produce the effect and the most important phenomena for the drug to produce the effect is the drug receptor interaction. Because the majority of the drugs they produce the effect by binding with the receptor when they come and bind with the receptor, they activate the receptor and then the receptor will be able to produce the effect. So this drug receptor binding or drug receptor interaction is very important for the therapeutic or pharmacological effects of drug. So our uh, today's uh, session's learning objectives are that by the end of the session, we will be able to discuss the receptor and receptor sites, that what is receptor and what are different receptor sites and what are their functions, how receptor works. Another important objective is the drug receptor interaction, how the drug interacts with the receptor, how the drug activates the receptor and how the receptor is producing the effects. And our third object is the specificity of the receptor, the very important characteristic of the receptor that is the specificity and this specificity is clinically very much important. And our final object is to discuss the agonist and antagonist, that what are the agonist, what are the antagonist and how they produce the effect. So these are our four learning objectives of today's session. So, uh, drug receptor interaction is uh, very important and receptor is the component of cell which interacts with the drug and initiates or creates the sequence of biochemical events. And these biochemical events finally leads to the pharmacological effect. So, for the pharmacological effects and for the biochemical events, the activation of receptor is must and for the activation of receptor drug receptor interaction or the drug receptor complex or drug receptor binding is very much important. So if suppose this is the receptor and a drug come and bind with this receptor. If this is the drug receptor interaction the drug couldn't bind with the receptor properly. There is no proper drug receptor complex. There is no proper drug receptor interaction. So this drug could not activate the receptor and receptor will not be able to produce any effect. So we can say that this sort of no pharmacological effect is being produced by such drug if it come and bind with this receptor because it is not properly acting, interacting with the receptor. In another situation, if the drug come and bind with the receptor, in this situation, some portion of the drug is binding with the receptor, but still the some portion is not properly fitting with the receptor. So the receptor will not properly activated and will not produce the full effects. So we can say that in this situation, in such sort of drug receptor complexes or drug receptor interaction, we can say that is the slight pharmacological effects are being produced by such sort of a drug receptor interaction. In third situation, if the drug comes, and bind with the receptor, oh yes, this is the more proper fitting of the drug with the receptor. This is the proper drug receptor interaction and the proper drug receptor complex. In such sort of complex, in such sort of drug receptor interaction, drug will able to activate the receptor more properly and the receptor will produce the more proper effects, pharmacological and therapeutic effects. So we can say 
that the full pharmacological effects that are being produced in this sort of drug receptor interaction and such sort of drugs they are known as the agonist. So this proper fitting of the drug, this proper drug receptor interaction is required for the full pharmacological effect of any drug. And this is called as the lock and key manner. And this is called the specificity. As there is a specific key for the specific law, and we could not open each and every lock with each and every key. So we can say that which the receptor could not be activated by each and every drug. There should be the specific drug for the specific receptor to activate and to produce the effect. If I ask the question that there are two drugs, one is in a yellow color and another is in this pinkish color, which drug come and bind and fits properly in the receptor? Your answer must be that drug A. Because the drug A has the more proper structure to fit with the structure of the receptor. While this drug B could not fit properly because there is a change in this structure which could not fit properly in the receptor. And this property of the receptor is known as the specificity. Clinically, this specificity is very much important. There is a specific drug come and bind with the receptor. It activates the receptor more properly and it produces the more proper effects of that drug. So this is called as the specificity, the clinical important characteristic of any type of receptor. So now this is the receptor. General structure of the receptor. There are a few exceptions, but generally they have the same type of situation. This is the cell membrane. And this portion of the receptor is outside the cell membrane. This is transmembrane portion of the receptor or the transmembrane domain of the receptor. Why we call it transmembrane domain? Because uh, it goes through and through the cell membrane. So we call it as the transmembrane domain of the receptor. This is the internal domain. And this internal domain is linked with the machinery. And this machinery, when activated, is responsible for the resultant effects of the drug. And this is, these are the three sites that we were talking about, the sites of receptors. So there are three sites. This is the outer site, is the outer domain or the binding domain of the receptor. This is the domain which is designated to attract the drug towards itself. It activates the receptor and it produces the effect. So this is the binding domain of the receptor and this is the transmembrane domain. It shows the intrinsic activity. And when this transmembrane domain shows the internal activity, then this internal domain activates the machinery which is linked with the receptor. And this machinery is responsible for the resultant effects of the drug. So, this is a drug, this is the agonistic type of a drug, it's come and bind with the binding domain of the receptor and this is the intrinsic activity and then there is the activation of the machinery which is linked with the internal domain of the receptor. So, the magnitude of the binding of the drug towards the receptor or the magnitude of attraction of the drug towards the binding domain of the receptor is called affinity. Affinity is not uniform to each and every type of a drug. Even it is not uniform if the drug is single drug, but it's not uniform to every person. It is variations from patient to patient and person to person. So affinity is actually the attraction or magnitude of attraction of the drug towards the receptor or magnitude of attraction of the drug towards the binding domain of the receptor. So this affinity determines the concentration of the drug which is required to produce the significant number of drug receptor complexes. And when the drug shows the affinity and then this is the duty of this 
transmembrane domain of the receptor it shows the intrinsic activity and when it shows the intrinsic activity it activates the machinery which is linked with the internal domain and it produces the effect and the magnitude of the effects is known as the efficacy even the efficacy is not uniform different drugs have different magnitude of effects even the same drug has different magnitude of effects in different people so again it is not uniform to all the people they are different from person to person so if the drug has affinity it shows the intrinsic activity and receptor shows the efficacy it produces the fact we call those drugs as agonist but if the drug has only affinity it just come and bind with the receptor it just come and bind and occupies the binding domain of the receptor it doesn't shows any intrinsic activity so it doesn't have any efficacy such sort of an drugs we call at the antagonist and in the coming session we will discuss at what are the different type of the antagonist so how these antagonists they are working they are working by just occupying the binding domain of the receptor and they prevent the binding of the agonist and they prevent the functions or the pharmacological effects of the agonist so the drug receptors are the regulatory proteins and they mediate the or initiate the actions of endogenous chemical substances they may be the enzymes like uh, dihydrofolate reductase enzyme which is being inhibited by the trimethoprim receptor might be the transport proteins like uh, sodium potassium atpase that is for the radioactive digitalis glycosides like an digoxin or they might be the structural proteins like an tubulin which is the receptor for the colchicin the anti inflammatory drug used for the treatment of the gout so these are the different types of the receptors thank you very much